Some tangible solutions may finally be coming to a Myrtle Beach neighborhood with a long history of problems. Our Ali Espinosa breaks down the real actions the city's taking and shares what some homeowners say they're tired of seeing. It's just, it's a nightmare. A nightmare folks like Jim Henry are one step closer to waking up from following a long awaited neighborhood watch meeting. The city of Myrtle Beach met Wednesday with homeowners in the Ramsey Acres neighborhood, addressing concerns on a strip of land between Highway 501 and Robert Grissom Parkway, grappling with a recent rise in violence, drug dealing and prostitution. City officials are also targeting so-called nuisance properties in the area, reportedly notifying folks in one problematic home of a potential takeover if they don't clean up their act in seven days. That announcement is a breath of fresh air to some folks who tell me they can't wait to see their neighborhood return to its former glory. The quality of life has gone way down. I pay my property taxes, I have my equity, I want to I wanna be able to go in my front yard and not have individuals walking back and forth that look like they're in a zombie state. The city wants folks to know it's always working for them and tells us its staffers are working around the clock to improve life for all of its residents. Perception oftentimes is reality, and so we as a city have got to address that and find ways to make the citizens feel safe. That's a message that allows people like Henry to sleep easier at night, hoping better lighting, nuisance crackdowns, and bigger police presences deter unwanted crowds from their homes. Hopefully it will make change for the better. Reporting in Myrtle Beach, I'm Ali Espinosa for WMBF News.